Okay, here's the beginning of the damage. There's what used to be the Shell gas station over there. I'll be taking a right. And following down Lake Street here. And over here you can see nothing. And here's another burned out building. Just a hole in the ground now. The T-Mobile station, see the building next to it on the left, that's all burned out and gone. Los Campos. Chicago Lake Liquors is all destroyed. Another building destroyed. Here's the Hamdy restaurant. where one of my friend's businesses was in the market, the Midtown Global Market, and that's gone. The bank across the street, U.S. Bank, that's gone, all burned down. See that? We have the Family Dollar, which is burned down. Like they're starting to do repairs. Buffon restaurant's gone. Well, they're open actually. Wow. Nail salon. A lot of people are putting up justice for George, so forth like that. As virtue signaling to please don't burn my business down. I just want to live the American dream and would you please leave me alone? So now everyone has to bow to this mob, which has done this damage. There's more, and then more. <laughs> it's hard to catch everything here. One human family. Good sayings, worship center is burned down. There, they're doing that. Justice for George again. What's nice to see is that they are coming out here, the labor union, so forth, and providing, looks like, food, potentially. Yep, refreshments, yep, food refreshments for the workers. Or for the locals, I don't know what it what it's all set up for. Community's lunch, it says. So it is for the community. And here we have the Marathon gas station. That's all gone. More business over here. The advanced auto parts. Oh, I just missed one of the restaurants back here. Black owned restaurant, they burned it down. Another one over here. You know, we're getting to be getting into a real bad area here of the burn down, but they have blocked off the street, so we won't be able to get down there, but I will. Try and get some photos of that. up graffitied all the oh yes all these things had to burn down oh yes look back here there's the whole mall is burned down okay wells fargo little caesar another liquor store burned down if you look at the entryway there you can see that the broken out glass there Services. Oh, that's biting their own hand here. Okay, another building there, another one burned down. 
onto the ground here. More back over there if you're looking. You can see the building in the distance, about a half a block down. And then yeah, another liquor store burned down. Whole corner, all the businesses in here are gone. There's more, <laughs> more. This is more like Beirut. Another building burned here. I can't even count them. What a senseless act. There's a total absence of all police. A number of community people are starting to get together. Yeah. This we can all thank the mayor of Minneapolis and our governor. Now here's a uh, Walgreens, it's all destroyed. TCF Bank. Another building. Precision Auto Tune. Napa. Vintage record records. <laughs> he's, he's gone. side of the heavy damage. I did go further east today than when I was taking pictures yesterday. Still have uh, absent uh, any police officers at all. I can't say that I blame them for not showing up down here. Well, this is just a few blocks of the east side of Lake Street. I was uh, all east of 35W. West of 35W, I have not traveled yet. They had a lot of that blocked off. There was no accesses. Maybe tomorrow, Saturday, they'll have more access. Super America Speedway, Dairy Queen, more pandering in order to don't burn my house. <laughs> <laughs> 